Hey guys, it's your good old buddy Keepy Giants fan here, and I'm back with the next installment of my Dark Souls 3 walkthrough. Now, one thing I want to mention right off the bat is the sound got kind of screwed up when I recorded this, and the nature of this game as I defeat this first enemy, these guys need no explanation. You just you know, kind of stay out of their range and just wipe them out real quick, but... What happened was the sound is a little bit off on this recording, and this is one of those games where you can't really go back. You know what I mean? <laughs> Once you defeat a boss or kill a, a, you know, a certain enemies or pick up certain items, they don't respawn, so you can't go back and re-record stuff. So, anyway, I just turned the sound off completely because it was off, and it made the video kind of sound like shit. So, anyway, that being said, here we go. Let's take on the first enemy. Well, not the first enemy, the first boss of Dark Souls 3. As I kind of go through here, I really didn't think uh, an explanation of coming through or taking out these extremely easy enemies would really need to be put in because this is about as easy as it gets. These guys, e even if you need to use your shield, you can just easily block their attacks, counterattack, should take no more than two swipes. As long as you're using the Pyromancer class, that is. Uh, to take out any of them. They're not very difficult at all. So let's go ahead and deal with the first boss. And there were some items, by the way, back there that we could have picked up, but I, I like to deal with the boss first. So go ahead and pull that sword out there to pull the sword out of him to initiate the battle. And right away I took a few melee hits at him. You, I mean you could do this, you can melee attack this boss, but I figure what the fuck is the point? That is exactly why I created a Pyromancer. So we had an offensive ranged attack. So the nature of this battle isn't very difficult, even though I'm getting fucking hit. Wow. <laughs> Talk about sloppy gameplay, but... Jeez, fuck, man. God. I need to get my shit together. <laughs> but anyway, the nature of this battle... You can use melee, but what's the point? I mean, like I was saying before, the reason I started the game with a Pyromancer was so I had a ranged offensive attack, and I'm just going to chuck fireballs at this guy, and boom, bam, done. He is that easy. First boss of most Souls games isn't very difficult, so this isn't really the case here either, but that's about as easy as you can make this battle by, you know, starting as a Pyromancer and just chucking fireballs at him. So, as you can see, you know, you just keep your safe distance, throw fire at him, and boom. So, now that we've lit the bonfire on the boss area, we might as well go back and pick up those couple items that I was mentioning earlier, so back over here. When you touch a bonfire, it will respawn all normal enemies in that area, or enemies that are respawnable. So, uh, I'm not quite positive how this game works, but the other Souls games, there are enemies in certain areas that only spawn once, so once you defeat them, the bonfire will not respawn them. So, I think this game is probably the same, but coming through here, fuck, man. You know we are, asshole. Jeez. <laughs> Uh, the rust will wear off, or I should say, I, I'll, I'll work the kinks out of my uh, my gameplay here fairly shortly, because if I don't, I'm going to die. <laughs> and I don't want to die. I want to keep the death count as low as possible for this playthrough, so let's see how I go. And come on down here, and again, easiest way to take out enemies with ranged attacks is to... Hey, what the fuck, man? You checking on some Estes, bitch? Hell no. Don't you try that shit. And then... Uh, Ranged attacks, you know, enemies with ranged attacks, I feel the best way to take counter that is to hit them with a ranged attack of my own. So, come down here and get some fire bombs. Fire bombs are actually pretty damn good in this game. I'm going to be utilizing them at certain points through this, especially the first main area of the game when we get to that. So, I'll get into more uh, fire bomb as we go through the game. And over here, one more item we want to get is an... It, it, it's upgrade materials. This is pretty good shit. So, you just run over here and jump off. Boom. Bang. Yeah, I'll take that shit. Thank you very much. And then, uh, come on back down here, and you'll realize this would have been the entrance to the boss area. So, I, again, I like to take the boss out first, just so then you have the bonfire there, and you don't have to worry about any horse shit. Losing the souls you get, and things like that. Because you get a good number of souls from beating the first boss, and I don't want to really go back and forth through there killing those enemies multiple times, because they, they ain't really worth shit, so... That's why I like to kill the boss first, and then from there, move on to the next area and collect items and stuff. So, come over here and open this big gate. It's going to take a while, but ah, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's pretty common in a lot of these Souls games. The gate must be epic to open the gate! <laughs> Alright, pick up another item over here. We're actually going to enter the main hub of the game. This is pretty cool. 
I'm going to go over this area more here in detail in the next video. So I might, I might as well bring that up now. We're going to enter Firelink Shrine, which is pretty sweet to me, you know, being a fan of the original Dark Souls. It's, a lot has changed, and I'm not quite positive if this is the actual original Firelink Shrine, because I don't really think it is, but whatever the case may be, here we go. I'm going to... I'm going to cut this video short here because of the sound issues I was having that I mentioned earlier. So hopefully I can get those worked out. And the next video, the sound will be synced up with the gameplay. Because that, I just like to say, you know, in this game, you can't go back. But, you know, you can't go back and re-record shit. And at least the gameplay didn't get corrupted. It was only the sound. Because that would have really sucked. I would have to recreate the character and blah, 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 go through all that shit again. So let's hope that doesn't happen in the future, huh? <laughs> anyway, hopefully I can get my sound issues fixed, and I will pick up the next video right here. Take it easy, guys. Peace out.